Hello, I'm Jill Cooper and I'm back. And um, let me explain why you're not seeing so many videos on YouTube in English. It's because I, lo I live and work in Italy. And my, my job is uh, I have an online gym, I have a store, I work in TV. And so most of my work is done in Italian. But I was noticing the other day that my English speaking YouTube channel was getting a lot of um, attention, uh, that you like the videos I'm posting. So if you do like the videos that I'm posting, please subscribe and please leave me a message and I will get down to answering your messages and uh, obviously uh, getting more content in English online. So I thank you very much for your attention. I thank you very much for following me. That, is, that just means a lot to me. Now, we, uh, the last video that I gave was on trampolining, rebounding, and menopause. And we were speaking a lot about the pelvic floor. Now, on the pelvic floor, obviously, I want to explain what happens on a trampoline and why it's so important when you're in menopause to use uh, rebounding because rebounding literally trains up to 191% more muscle fibers than you can do on the floor. Um, just look at my hands, okay? I'm not jumping. I am not, you know... Um, I'm not uh, impacting on my spine, on my joints, because I'm not jumping. There's no impact. I am just bouncing. If you look at my hands, you'll see there's this activity. If I do that on the floor, I'm not going to get the same activity. I'm not going to get the same muscular activation. I'm not going to get the same muscular burn. So the first thing I did was I did a, a study in 2012 on the benefits of rebounding. I saw a lot of people getting thin really fast. And it's about it has a lot to do with what we call hypergravity. So we have triple force conditioning, acceleration, de deceleration aligned on the axis of, of gravity. And what happens is our gravity receptors within the body go, okay, I'm no longer on planet Earth. I'm on another planet. Therefore, I have to get stronger. I have to get better bone structure. I have to get more muscle. And it also helps you with your metabolism because more muscle means uh, more metabolism. But there is some, there are some <coughs> precautions that we have to absolutely observe when we're jumping on a trampoline. The first thing is jump with shoes. Why do I say jump with shoes? Because if I don't jump with shoes, I'm going to sink into my heels. If I sink into my heels, my hips are going to go forward. And the only way to compensate for that is to jump on your toes. If you start to jump on your toes, what's going to happen is you're going to feel it in your, your, your calf muscle very fast. It's going to start to burn in your calf muscle. And what we want is if I'm working here, it's very hard to get to the, the glutes. So if I have a shoe, a good shoe, a running shoe on, I can push into the mat with my feet being flat. And you're, what you're not, you're not going to try to jump up. You don't want to do this. You don't want to jump up. Uh, I see so many people doing that. What you want to do is you want to push down. So it's down, 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 down into the mat and into the mat and into the trampoline because my resistance is under my feet. When I'm landing, I'm under five G-forces. And when I'm under five G-forces, what happens is my gravity receptors go on another planet. You have to get stronger. You have to get thinner. You have to get more efficient on a metabolic level. Now, what is the problem with acceleration and deceleration? If we have uh, um, connective tissue that is you know, relaxed or, um, you know, not tight, okay, what we can have is what we can actually, you know, produce is uh, prolassamento, uh, prolassam uh, prolapsing, sorry, it was came to me in Italian, prolapsing our, our internal organs. But wait a second, this is really important. When I'm jumping, I also train my connective tissue. So what the problem is, is a lot of people get on a, 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 a trampoline, they start to jump, they start to use like big jumps, they, they start to take their feet off the mat, and they start to notice that maybe um, you might have a little bit of, 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 uh, of leakage, you might notice that you, you kind of kind of leak, that, you're, that, you're, that you kind of have, you know, that kind of problem with your, your, your urine coming out. And so what it is, is we have to adapt the body. We have to allow our body time to adapt. If we have a, you know, so a prolapse of an internal organ that is, you know, is already happened, we've got to be very careful with, with re rebounding because there is a point when you land, if you put your hands on your body or your hands on your muscles, you notice that there's this kind of down, downward movement that is like, it has to be, you know, uh, withheld by your connective tissue. 
And so how do we do that? What do we do? It? First of all, we just push into the mat and allow our body to adapt within a period of 14 to 28 days. So you're not going to want to take your feet off the mat for the first weeks, especially if you've just, you know, given birth or if you're, you know, overweight or if you're out of shape, you're not going to want to start to do really big, you know, you're not going to want to do this because you'll notice that you might have some, some leakage because of your jumping. But if you do start to jump uh, and you give your body the time for your connective tissue to adapt because it will adapt, uh, at that point, your pelvic floor will get stronger. Your, your, your um, perineal will get stronger. And this is the best way to do it. Okay, we're going to lie down on the mat. So let's just say you're coming off of, you, you've given birth, and you gave birth like a few, a few months ago, a month ago, two months ago. The biggest problem is your body, your connective tissue has been dilated. It has been stretched out to hold on to the baby, okay? And you've got to give it time to come back into its shortened or original or, you know, it's never going to be original again, <laughs> but I mean, into your pre, your pre, uh, your, 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 your pre-pregnancy length. So what we're going to do is uh, the first thing I say is if you want to notice after a pregnancy when it's, when it's going to be safe to jump is see if you can pull your abs in. If you can do this, if you can pull your abs in or pull your tummy in, it's already probably a good idea that your muscles have returned almost to normal and that you can start to jump. The other thing is if you start to jump and you feel a weight, you feel something that's heavy here, okay, like an orange, like the size of an orange, now that is a sign that you should not be jumping because that might be mean that your connective tissue has not is not holding on to the uterus enough for you to be jumping safely. So what we're going to do in order to help this process become faster, we're going to lie down and we're going to jump for a month only doing ab work. So if I start to jump on a trampoline to do ab work, I'm still getting the triple force conditioning of acceleration, deceleration, and the force of gravity that's pumping on my gravity receptors, eh, on my connective tissue, but I'm, not, I'm no longer on a vertical axis. So it's not pulling downward on my internal organs. It's pulling, okay, in a horizontal axis, which is going to help me with my connective tissue. It's also going to help me with my skin. J uh, trampolining helps fibroblasts produce more collagen. So this is another another benefit. So what we're doing is we're, st we're stimulating our fibroblasts to produce more collagen. We're stimulating our connective tissue to become stronger. This is going to help our, our, pav uh, our, mm, our um, pelvic floor. This is going to help our organs be, you know, held stronger within our body. And you'll start to notice that you're not going to have any more seepage. You're not going to have any more problems with, um, with leakage. So what we do is, now let's say you don't know how, mo most people don't jump on their backs immediately. It's, it's a little difficult. So what you can do is you can, we can do this in different ways. One of the easiest ways is to grab onto the side of your rebounder and pump with your arms. And you'll notice this, this is a really good ab workout. And you can hold it like this. And you can, you can try to do one arm at a time. And this can help you kind of like understand how to jump on your back or how to get that movement going. The, p the fact is, you don't don't try to have like different parts of your body moving at the same time. Try to think that you're one block. You hold yourself as one block. It's called dynamic inertia. You get yourself moving, and then you keep the movement going with just little tiny tiny bounces with my feet. I'm using my feet is basically what I'm doing. Another way to get this going is your arms. So. Circle my arms, circle my arms. Think of like a choo-choo train, like you're trying to kind of pretend like a child who's trying to show a choo-choo train. So I down and down and down and down. And this will help me get that movement going. So that's the best way for our pelvic floor and our uh, connective tissue to, s to, to, you know, to get stronger, to, to adapt to, to our, our jumping so that we don't have any more leakage. It will help the pelvic, uh, the, the pelvic floor. The first time you start to jump, especially if it's after a pregnancy or you're in menopause, it can be like a little uh, disconcerting. You're like, oh my gosh, you know, I have to go to the bathroom or I have to use, uh, you know, a sanitary pad because I'm having leakage. But the truth of the matter is, if you allow your body to can adapt and if you give your time for your body to adapt, uh, 
It will. It will. The body da adapts all the time. And I call them um, quantistic changes. What's a quant quantistic change? It, it's just to believe it's possible, to allow it to happen, to get, every, uh, to, get on your to get on your trampoline or get on your rebounder every single day and get it done because it really does protect your back, your joints. It kicks up your metabolism. It really, really, really helps you lose weight and get back into shape. And it helps with Cellulite, yes, cellulitis, as they call it. So um, I thank you so much for following me. Do, do forgive me for not having um, uploaded a content lately because I live in Italy, I work in Italy, and I usually work in Italian. But I noticed that my <laughs> that, that channel was getting some, ac some activity. So I said, well, if they like it, I'll, I'll keep going. So let me know if you like these videos. Let me know if I'm, a, if I'm useful to your fitness <laughs> path and your fitness, uh, you know, your fitness journey. Uh, my name is Jill Cooper, live in Italy, and I love what I do, and I'm the inventor of Super Jump. So I've been jumping for over 15 years, and I have seen bodies change. I've seen bodies literally, literally just go from obese to thin. I ha I, I've helped people lose over 100, 100 pounds with, with, um, with Super Jump, and it's something that's fun to do. So, Please comment on this video. Let me know if you like it. Give me a like. Follow this channel, and I guarantee you I will start to upload more videos. I have nine different techniques, and so more videos to keep you working out with your rebounder. Have fun. And, and one, one other thing. Please do buy a professional rebounder. Do not use a cheap economic rebounder because it will not give you the, um, the results that I, uh, that I promised. This is, I've changed this, this uh, I've changed this, I've modified this trampoline 10 times in the last 15 years, and so it, it's really the creme de la creme for, for having that response, that elastic response for the hypergravity to give you those, those benefits that I, uh, that I promised, you know, getting thinner, getting stronger, and helping you with your internal organs and your connective tissues. So have a great day. See you soon. Comment the video. Give me a like, and follow this channel. Hugs from Jill.